Common question people have when they just get started out with CNC is why does my project take so long to run? So today we're gonna go over some of the adjustments that we need to make to speed them up. All right, let's start on our job setup tab. You've got this little option down here called uh, retract height. And I wanna say the factory default on that is normally like 0.47 inches. And what that is, is that's how much the bit raises up above the top of your workpiece when it's doing rapid movements. So every time that has to retract and move to another location to make a cut, if you have your retract height set too high, it's coming really far out. And it really doesn't need to do that. You may have some clamps or something that you need to clear. So normally I run mine at about 0.2 inches, but really you can come right down to 0.1 or you know 0.05, you know, even if you wanted. Just whatever you feel comfortable with as far as uh, clearing your clamps and the rest of the workpiece. Now let's go over to the toolpath tab. And I've already got the toolpaths generated for the stars and the stripes. But let's check out the stripes. So we're looking at 49 minutes right now. And I've just got a uh, 102 selected and it's I haven't made any changes to it. So let's go ahead and click edit. And we've got a couple options here. Step over, we're not gonna touch that. That's just how much the bit moves over, like how much it'll overlap basically um, as it's making its passes in like a pocket. Uh, depth per pass. That this is a really important one. This is how deep it cuts on each pass. And 0 0.045 is pretty good for an eighth inch end mill. So we're actually gonna leave that alone. Uh, feed rate, that's definitely something that we can adjust. We're at 60. For materials like pine, uh, you know, any softer woods, I like to start around 100. And plunge rate, I go pretty aggressive with this. I go about 80. We'll click OK. And we'll click OK. All right, and you can see that that's brought us down to 29 minutes. All right, and real quick, I just want to show you. So these changes that we made to this tool aren't permanently saved. But if we'd like to do that, we can go back up to Edit, and we'll click Change Tool this time. And let's take that Softwoods library and make a duplicate of it. That'll allow us to edit it. You can just name it whatever you'd like. Select Softwoods. Shapoko, and we'll just name it demo. And now if we go to that 102 bit, this option here for edit becomes available. We'll click that. And now we can change the plunge rate and the feed rate. And that'll be permanently stored in there. So if you don't want to have to go in and edit these every single time you select a tool, that's a good way to do it. So let's just click OK again. Click OK. And now let's take a look at these stars. Double click that. Let's go ahead and click Edit, Change Tool. And then again, let's come down to our demo, uh, the library that we copied. And let's go to that 302 bit. Click Edit. We can rename it if we'd like. We could change the diameter if we have to. Maybe you're actually using a quarter inch bit. We can change the plunge rate. Let's go to 80. Let's go to 100 on the feed. And then our depth per pass. And this is gonna be really big here. This will really speed up the work. So the default before used to be 0.156 inches. And that's just kind of what I always go to. So. We'll put in 0.156 for the depth per pass and click OK. And again, that's going to be stored in there. Let's click OK, OK, and OK. And now look at that. Our stars went down to 19 minutes. And this is just an approximation, but these seem to be pretty close. So I hope this answered some of the questions that you may have on why it takes so long to run a certain project. If you have any questions or there's something else that you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment for me down below. I always read the comments and I try to get back to everybody on them. And I really appreciate your guys' input on everything. Everybody, please stay safe and I'll see you over on this next video.